Hey there, everybody. Wow, the light is really bright. How y'all doing this morning? My name is Tom Rigsby. I can do that. Hey, look, there we go. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host for the next seven-ish minutes or so. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. I'm on a roll this morning. Steel-toed shoes and, and seat belts, please. That's just a warning to help us get started. Hey, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe and I should have done. Leave me a comment. Let me know that you're here because I can see that you're watching. I just can't see who's watching. So that always helps to let me know who's there. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher, iTunes, TuneIn, uh, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or watching on YouTube at some point, you have to head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com and join in the conversation, leave your comment there, say good morning, like Vicky just did. All right, so um, I've had all weekend to work on this. I'm ready to rock and roll. The title for today's show was something like, if you want to be a winner, then you have to be this also. So I'm going to take a quick survey here first and ask, for those who are watching, those who have commented, and those who watch on the replay, do you want to be a winner? Is that something that we that we pursue to do? Leave me a comment in there and let me know. If nobody wants to be a winner, then I don't have to tell you what you need first. So I'll just wrap it up and we can move on with the rest of our day. But if you are interested in finding out how to be a winner, a winner, then tell me. I'm just going to take a sip of my, look, I'm not even drinking coffee yet this morning. Holy crap. This is still my um, lime water from after I worked out. All right. Well, nobody's interested in learning how to be a winner. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the show here today. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do this. I'm not going to give you the secret if you don't ask for it, but I will do this. One of the best questions that I ever heard a business leader ask was, are we winning? Doesn't matter what you're doing. And if we, we, we hear it, we feel it, we say it in games all the time, right? Even when, when you're playing little league and they're not keeping score, somebody's keeping score because they want to know who's winning. And then we get into the rest of our life and we don't really keep score. God, look at that inbox. It's huge. It's full. So I'll just start going. And you don't, I'm, I, are you winning? Guess I'll cold call customers today. How are you keeping score? Are you winning? So if you're not getting the results that you want, I would suggest to you first, you got to check your intention. But second, are you measuring the results? Are you winning? All right. There's some answers. Took y'all a minute. No, let's see. Joe says you win by your definition. Actually, yes, I agree with that. But you have to do something before you can win. All right. So here it is. Here's what you have to be before you can be a winner. And this word has terrible, has developed a terrible reputation in our language and in our society. But I'm telling you, it makes all the difference in the world. If you really want to be a winner, first, you have to be a loser. Yep, that's right. That's what I said. Got to be a loser. Here's why, right? I mean, I'm sure that there's the off example of somebody who hopped on a bike and never fell off, right? But there's probably another aspect of their life where they had to work at it. Go back to my favorite example that I use all the time is baseball, right? You, you can win a game in Major League Baseball, 162 games. You can win a game and you're a winner. And you can lose the next game and be a loser. But if you win more than you lose, then you can succeed for the season, what we do, the problem is that we, we, we get this vision of success and say, okay, success to me means a new car. And then we work and we do different things 
And if those individual tasks don't produce the new car, well, crap. I must be losing. Right? You, you've got to create these interim steps so that you can, I mean, the tasks, the milestones, so that you can measure, so you can say you're winning, so you can get your blood, your brain chemistry behind you to help you keep going. Right? I'll do a whole nother, whole nother show on, on the, the dose chemicals in your brain. But you gotta be okay with losing too. I've struggled for a long time trying to figure out, you know, I hate, I really don't like the word fail. I really don't like it because I truly believe you're only a failure if you quit. But there has to be an, something in opposition to success. Right? You, you can't have success without failure. You can't have winning without losing. That's why you have to be a loser first. You can't win without losing. They have to be there. They have to be uh, opposing one another. All right. So this, so I've, I've struggled for a long time trying to figure out what that opposing word is that I want to use against success. And I figured it out. If you, if you lose the ball game today, today you're a loser. And if you quit today, you quit a loser and you have failed to reach your, your goal. You have failed to attain success. But if you come back tomorrow, you have the chance of being a winner, right? If you make one phone call and that prospect tells you, no, you're a loser. That's okay. But you still got the phone and you still have time to call the next prospect and they might turn you into a winner. And if you string together more winners than you string together losers, guess what? You're making progress, not setbacks. You're making progress toward that goal that you set for yourself. <laughs> All right. Joe says you win by your definition. Yes, I agree. Here's why I agree with that because we define success and we can define those interim milestones, right? So whatever we define those milestones to be, they can be that 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 define helps us define whether we're winning or losing. What I really want you to think about is if you don't have any milestones, all you got is this big hairy audacious goal out there. How do you know what how do you know if you're closer to it or not? Well, Tom, I just know. Well, how do you know? Explain it to me. Right? Because if you're not I'll have to talk about the dose chemicals tomorrow now. If you're not measuring success, if you're not measuring those interim wins then you don't get the dose chemicals in your brain. If you don't get the dose chemicals in your brain, then you're going to lose hope. You're going to lose your, uh, your stick to your tenacity in order to reach that outcome. All right. So now I know what tomorrow's show is going to be about. It's all about the dose chemicals and how winning these interim steps of winning help us make it there. And yeah, shoot you yeah, accountability, man, that's huge. Yeah, for for the dose chemicals, Vicky. Yeah, I had to come up with that so I could remember them all. <laughs> all right, got it, get it, got it, good. Set some set. Yes, have your big hairy audacious goal out there. Absolutely, I would never tell you to back off of that. Right, but you got to have those interim steps, those milestones, the projects that move you toward that. Remember, progress is movement toward a goal. A setback is movement away from a goal. But progress is movement toward a goal, right? You have to be moving and you have to have a goal. How do you measure whether you're, I mean, we don't set out most of the time on road trips. Yeah, chemist tomorrow. We don't set out on road trips to say, okay, 53 miles, woohoo. No, but we'll measure that. Hey, we made it to the state line. Hey, we made it to Birmingham. Hey, we made it to Memphis. Right. Our, our, we want to measure progress. And yet we think somehow magically we can skip that when we're trying to achieve something big in our life. Don't do that. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. That's it for today. Woo! I am over. Ten minutes. Look, it's Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Yeah. I want you guys to have a magnificent Monday. Set those interim goals. Figure out one thing you can do today. Look, you'll see back here on the board, those sticky notes. Those sticky notes are no more than one day's worth of work. If it's bigger than one day's worth of work, got to break it down into two. Set a goal that you can reach today. Make that your priority. Remember, you can only have one. Make that your priority and get it done today. You do that for 100 days in a row, you've made 100% improvement. All right? You guys have a magnificent Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow. Same time, same same place. Oh, same bat time, same bat channel. Oh, no, I owe them royalties. Anyway, I'll be back again tomorrow. You guys have a great Monday. Talk to you then. Hey, one more thing here real quick, if you're still watching. If this was beneficial, share it with somebody. You know why? Because they will thank you for it. Yes, I'm just the vehicle, but you will get all the credit for it. Just a thought. All right, have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow. See you. Right? Where'd my finish button go? Oh, it's broken. Not again. Hey, Kristen. Kristen, give me a call today. This afternoon, after 2, after 2.30. Anyway, talk to you all later. Take care.